Welcome everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, producer's letter. I haven't looked at one of these in a while. The last one was actually back in September, I believe. Yeah, it's September 2015. They rarely do them, um, as you can see here, which means they're of importance, and trust me, this one most definitely is. So, Thalmia starts things off introducing Polaris. Um, it's cold for fire wizards, of course. Talk about how they started on Polaris eight months ago since the last, well, winter season, so January um, and February, right? So, for only eight months, that must mean that. So, basically, team... They start, start talking about the first world in the third arc story, as we know, is Polaris. And they wanted to change things up. Now, I know a lot of people had a lot of questions or maybe possible concerns of Polaris's length. Because um, I know on Test Realm, we got done in seven hours or so. I can't even remember. That was that was a while back. Test run was a while back. And um, we noticed that as well, where there were no defeat quests. There was a lot of quests where they gave an absurd amount of XP. But then again, it did go smoothly, maybe a little too smoothly, compared to worlds such as Azteca, which was twice as long, and that was level 80 to 90. So that's definitely something worth considering. But they talk about in here, they wanted to minimize <clears throat> the feet and collect type quests. Uh, go get the ingredients, make me a sandwich quest. Uh, <laughs> that's that's kind of a fun play on that. And, um, and that's kind of what they talk about in the first few paragraphs. And the cinematic experience, which did have its flaws, uh, especially with the rat. Um, but those were really good. So that's what basically happens going on in here. Uh, and, you know... Is it good that it was that quick for a higher up world? I don't know. Let me know. I mean, for me personally, I would have liked a longer world. Um, we could have, you know, kept on the same theme of reducing like they did the defeat and collects, but maybe amplify the world a little longer. But I don't really know how they would do that uh, story wise because it did flow pretty smoothly. I have to be honest, but, you know, maybe make the bosses with more health or uh, maybe have them cheat or something like that. Maybe a little bit of a different spin. So hopefully that happens in future worlds. Um, but definitely they seem like they're going on the same route for the future worlds. But maybe hopefully a little bit harder next time. Please? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, so yeah, those are the first few paragraphs. Now, I'm really happy they talk about Morgan's story and how it got a little stormy at times. I appreciate that. Uh, mainly because, well, I remember... Oh my gosh, I mean, you didn't really have focus, I mean, for me personally, maybe it was because I didn't really pay attention to story and whatnot, um, way back when, when Celestia was introduced, but, you know, Morganth didn't really have a presence in Celestia, uh, I mean, she was referenced, and then even more previously in the, uh, the co-op, Morgantine forces, and they had to retreat back in Celestia, well, I mean, that does explain a lot, but... It was kind of one of those things where it's like you kind of wanted, you know, more from that world. And I feel like Polaris did give us more with Old Cobb. And it was kind of whimsical in a way. And then kind of some backstory, which I really do appreciate, even if the world was shorter. Um, so that's something worth noting. Uh, so they talk about also new round of shadow enhanced spells. Uh, yeah, those are crazy. I want to keep combat fun, fast paced and exciting. The new spells were conceived with that in mind. Super fun and epic, but a less lengthy than some of the spells we've released previously. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. We made a few changes. You did. Pleased how the spells turned out. We hope you feel the same. Best news on this front, however, is we've already begun working on yet another batch of magical mayhem. We think you really like what we're cooking up. Wow. So... They don't really say it's going to be more shadow, but that's pretty obvious, right? Of course, I'd be remiss to point out that this was a big milestone. I know, graduation. Oh my gosh. Few game dynamics working great for 40, 50 levels ago. But as the game progressed, they proven to be unsustainable for the long term. Oh, this is why. Okay. 
I mean, I honestly see this. There was a lot of confusion for the critical and block system for quite a while, especially in test run. It was pretty, it was pretty iffy, but then they revamped them. Now it's kind of held to your own idea if it's, you know, held to the standard you want it. I mean, in any game, I don't think it's anything will be always perfect. But I would have to say, though, that on the PvP standpoint, it's still, I mean, well, I mean, lower level. It may be even high level. If you get a crit, I don't know the percentages, but you're going to get crit on, which is a problem. But then again, maybe this will even out as worlds progress. Because uh, I've seen that happen before. I think it was back even when, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but probably in Celestia, or I have to talk to Lee about that. Because I've talked about this a lot, and I don't really know what would be the best way to fix things. I mean, kind of a mess, really. But then again, they try to fix it. Maybe they shouldn't have fixed it, but then again, they needed to, especially with going to level 150, probably. That's just a mess. I'm not, I'm not even going to get into this. I mean, I will, but a previously system combined attacks critical rating, defender's block rating, and factor them together for a single roll to determine whether or not target receives a critical hit. The system now takes two factors into account separately, First, the attacker rolls to determine whether they score a critical hit. Then if the attack is critical hit, defender rolls to determine whether they're successful. Is that better? We require the rebal rebalance of numbers. Huh. Maybe I'm just not getting it. Um, may show up a bit lower. Yes, they are. They are a, a lot lower. Been working hard to improve your critical. Have one of the best critical stats. You still have one of the best critical stats in the spiral. Oh. Weird. So basically, it was a nerf, but it's not a nerf because it still had it held at the same standard. And I feel like the only way you can get those stats again is if we go into the next world and maybe the one after. Well, anyway, let's continue. Um, oh, yeah, there were problems in lower worlds. Now, with all this said, let's not forget all the other new features. That is full. New Shadow Hand spells, of course. Skeleton Key Gauntlet, yes. Pets and Mounts, yes. Catch of the Day, yes. Spells granted for the equipment. Can now be activated, deactivated. I know. What a godsend this is. Remove all spells is now an option for each deck. Uh, awesome new additions to Harrowing Nightmare. Super cool mummy and vampire costumes. Primitive Poppy. Amazing Jewel Crafters Bundle. Polarian. Tons of other small improvements. Uh, let's read this. And now we're wrapping up the 12 Days of the Spiral where we also had some more surprises up our long, fuzzy, warm sleeves like the Polaris Express Train. Updates to the Winterland Pack and even some holiday fun decorations for your castle. We wind down the year and head off for a ski holiday Polaris here at King's Isle. We're already looking forward to bringing the spiral a sleigh full of amazing content in 2016. The other professors, I can't wait to join you for another year's worth of journeys. Stay fiery. Leah, Professor Famia, Ruben. Huh. I mean, 2015 was a good year, team, all considering. Uh... A lot of exciting ground points to where I hope they continue to, well, basically go down the same path and keep in mind the community's voice. You know, I feel like they have as of recently and um, maybe, I don't really know. I don't know where they need to go for the next world. I mean, they are trying to fix things right now, which I appreciate. And maybe, you know, with the next world, well, I mean, one of the major things is, is I have a lot of questions, <laughs> especially for Polaris. And I feel like it was necessary to leave a lot of, like, kind of empty holes and just kind of speculation, which I kind of appreciate, too. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the Arcanum, or the Arcanum, as Bala pronounces. But, you know, I'm really excited and I'm kind of scared for the future, but I have faith, you know, we've survived this far in the, uh, in wizard and, you know, low key hope it's Mirage. Uh, but I hope they, you know, a little bit lengthier worlds, um, shadow magic seems like it will be the most prevalent. I don't even know. I know people always said, Ooh, light magic, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be happening in these, these, uh, these worlds, you know, maybe potential fourth arc after all is said and done, 
But, you know, these worlds will see progression of Old Cobb's children. And we'll see progression of ourselves and Wizard. You know, I feel like a lot of this is kind of the groundbreaking, like the ground rule. And I think it will all even out in time. And it's kind of unfortunate that right now maybe some there are some struggles that shouldn't exist. But maybe it won't be a problem in the future. I don't know, team. But anyway, <clears throat> this is the producer's letter. Uh, I thought I'd just, you know, look over this and see if they have any juicy details. But um, let me know But what your favorite thing about this year has been. Um, for me personally, uh, <laughs> there's actually a lot in there. I mean, my favorite would probably... My favorite moment? Uh, I gotta be honest. It's not even the world itself, even though it's pretty great. It was me getting the original Nightmare mount for my death for his final Mog transformation. Um, one of my friends gave me a code because they won that and they already have like a billion of them and that's how I got it and thank you <laughs> that's my favorite moment of the world or of the world yeah the entire world but anyway team take care and I'll see you all next time